Hey seventh graders, today you guys are going to play the carbon cycle dice game. It's very similar to the carbon cycle game that you guys were supposed to play last Wednesday from home. Um, you guys will get to explore a lot of the different pathways that we've kind of already seen that carbon can travel through an ecosystem and how that carbon changes. Um, remember up to this point so far that we've really focused on that aspect of photosynthesis where plants take in carbon dioxide from the air, they turn that carbon dioxide into glucose, and then that glucose can either be used as food and energy for the plants and turned back from glucose into carbon dioxide, or that plant can be eaten by an organism such as an animal, um, where the animal takes in the carbon in the form of the glucose, uses cell respiration to turn it into energy, and then releases that carbon into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. So we really focused in on that small circle. But again, this kind of just highlights that there's a lot more ways that carbon can cycle through an atmosphere outside of um, photosynthesis and cell respiration and glucose and carbon dioxide. Okay, so here's what your guys' is, key is going to look like. And I'll zoom in on this because obviously it's not very easy for you guys to see um, your different pathways for each of these different places in our ecosystem. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom in and you guys will need to go back and reference these as you play in the game. So we can find carbon in plants. So you guys can see you are currently a carbon molecule in the structure of a plant. You guys might be found as glucose. You might be found as carbon dioxide, either one. Um, you guys can see what happens if you guys roll these various numbers. So if you roll a one, you might go to the soil because a plant sheds its leaves. Okay, if you roll a two, you'll stay in the plant. You are a carbon molecule in the tree's trunk. So you might just stay there um, sort of as food or even just part of the tree as, as trees and all living things are carbon-based life forms. Okay, uh, three, go to the animal. The leaves and berries that the plant produced contain your carbon molecule and were eaten. So we kind of already talked to that. Um, stay in the plant, you are tree roots. Stay in the plant, you are tree branches. And stay in the plant, you are a carbon molecule and the tree's trunk. So really there's a lot of options there. Um, you could also go up into the atmosphere as well. Okay, carbon in the soil, you guys can see your different options there. Carbon in fossil fuels. Okay, a lot of those are staying in fossil fuels. Uh, you guys can go to the deep ocean. You guys can go to the surface of the ocean. You guys can be in an animal, and again, we've kind of talked about those. Uh, or you guys can be carbon up in the atmosphere, okay? So let's go ahead and play. So here's your guys' game board, and you guys are gonna use the draw tool to uh, kind of show me where you went on your game, game board. So you guys get to choose where you want to start as carbon. So maybe, for instance, I want to start as carbon in the soil. Okay, so I'm gonna circle where I started. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll my dice. If you guys have dice at home, you can use that. Otherwise, you guys can right click this link right here, open up the dice. You guys only need one dice for this today, so you guys can go ahead and click roll and say, all right, two. I'm gonna go back up to my soil. I'm gonna look at what two says. It says, go to the plant. You are used by the plant in photosynthesis. Okay, so then I would go, excuse me, back here. I would draw an arrow from, oh shoot, sorry about that. I would draw an arrow from the soil to the plant. And then I would label that arrow with a number one. So here's my arrow and a number one. That indicates that my first turn was from the soil to the plant. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click to slide 13. And next to turn one, I'm gonna move, all right, where did I move? To the plant. And why did I move there? Again, if I look back as to why I moved there, it's gonna tell me that I was used by the plant in photosynthesis, okay? So I go back down and say, used by plant in photosynthesis, okay? And then I would go back to my game board. I'm now at plant, so I would roll my dice. I would say I got a three. So let's go look at plants up here. It's my very first one. And I got a three. So go to animal. The leaves and berries that the plant produced contain your carbon my, uh, molecule and were eaten. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back to my game board. I'm gonna draw a, an arrow from my plant to my animal. I would label that two. 
And then I would record my move right here. Okay, so I would say, all right, I went from the plant to the animal. I was eaten, plant was eaten. Okay, so you guys can write what they write or you guys can keep it a lot more simple as long as you ex do a good job explaining why you moved to that spot. Okay, so I'm gonna complete 10, 10 turns here. So at the end of this, I should see 10 arrows numbered one through 10. And then my data table should be filled out uh, one through 10 as well. Okay, and again, you guys can start anywhere you guys want on the game board, just circle, let me know where you started. Obviously, I'll be able to see your guys' arrow, um, but I should see all 10 of your arrows and then this table should be filled out as well, okay? When you guys are done, go ahead and hand that in and I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll talk to you soon, bye.